I want to greet you once again this afternoon. It is the first Sunday of the month of August 2020. This month is the eighth. Number eight means a new beginning. So I believe with the whole of my, my heart that we are going to receive newness in our lives, newness in our businesses, newness in our marriages. We are going to receive resurrection power, and I know God is going to help us. Today, we want to continue where we left last Sunday. I remember promising you that today is the day we are going to conclude the topic, Father's Blessings. And today, we are going to pray for those people who do not have a father because of one, 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 one thing or the other. And I say it could be you don't have a father because of natural attrition, they have gone to rest with the Lord, or you are coming from a background of a single mother, and uh, we all want to cater for every one of us. So today, we want to continue where we left with the Father's blessings. And the subtopic today is connectivity to the Father. Connectivity to the Father. There is a way a person connects with the children. A father connects with the children. And it is very, very, very important to connect with your children. Because once you connect with your children, you create something called bonding. You, you break in five, you become one. Today, our scripture reference is going to come from the book of Psalms 133, verses 1 to 2. It's going to come, scripture is going to come from the book of Psalms 133, verses 1 to 2. Here we go. Behold, how good and present it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went to the skirts of his garment. This is the word that we are going to go through. It. You see, Aaron is a father, is a spiritual father. And the word of God is likening liken him into a, when the oil is poured upon his head, it runs, comes to the beards, and from the beards it moves, flows the whole body. The blessings of a father, once they are done properly, they flow to everybody in the family. This is very important. I want every one of us to mark this. The example that we see from the Bible, oil, whenever it is poured, it drips or it flows. And that is how blessings flow from a father. Meaning that there has to be connectivity. There has to be bonding. There, has to be, there have to be some activities that have put the father and the children to come together so that as he speaks, the blessings are flowing. The blessings are flowing. And uh, uh, the Bible tells me, I'm saying in the verses number one, Behold how good and present it is for brethren to to dwell together, to live together in unity, to dwell together in unity. This tells me that once a father figure is within the vicinity, is in control, is in authority, there is unity. There is unity in the house. There is unity in the lives of the children. There is unity in that family setup. Because father's presence, father's presence in a, in, in a family brings a climate that is good and present. Father's presence in a family brings a climate that is good and is present. This climate that is good and present brings an enabling, an enabling 
a, a factor, something that enables the children and the family to dwell together in unity. And after they dwell together in unity, there's prosperity that it comes from this union. There is harmony in the family. There is multiplicity of blessings. Multiplicity of blessings. You find that in a family there are a lot of blessings. People are being blessed. People do not know why they are being blessed. Because there is a father figure in the family. There is order in the family. Hallelujah. Because of the presence of a father. Brethren, there are certain things. As we try to explain them, they may look difficult, they may look ordinary, but I want to take me very seriously because today the things, the, what we are going to dig, dig deep is something that will help you in the lifetime. Hallelujah. I want to show us three types of our Father. Number one is the Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. He is sovereign and he is above all. His love exceeds any love of any other father or any other father. He is the only uh, divine example. And this is where we are supposed to copy from. This is what we are, where we are supposed to imitate the Heavenly Father. He releases love, he releases protection. He releases provision. He is all around us. Even when we mess, he comes and brings us, brings us, brings us up because he's our father. Hallelujah. That is why he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Then number two, we have the other father. That is the bright father. He has the authority because he begat us he brought us in this world a father is a seed he brought us in this world and his role is to give us a good environment to grow to mature so he molds us he gives us protection food clothing he can give you land he can give you property he can give you education everything even love that's a father, a, 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 an ugly father. So his, his job is to please physical needs, the basic needs in the physical life. He releases to us. Then we come to the spiritual father. And we want to base, this, this, this is where we want to dwell very much in, the, in this final series. The spiritual father. Because a spiritual father has been neglected. Many people do not know how to connect with the spiritual father. They come to the church. Not only this church, they go to the church. They hear the word. They praise and worship. And they feel the presence of God. It is overwhelming. And then they go. And that's the end of it. At the end of the week, they come back on Sunday. And on and on, they have been that way. But I want to prove to us through the scriptures today, that there is a very great benefit once you connect with your spiritual father, once that is born in, because he has got a praise in your life. A spiritual father, these are points I wanted to write. A spiritual father gives you doctrine, he gives you the teachings in the word of God. And once you receive these teachings, there is a, a, there is ministry, there is service that is activated from you. And once you realize who you are in Christ and you get your position in the body of Christ and you start ministering, that is when blessings come. And these are not material blessings alone. This is spiritual and material blessings. And you find your life becomes very, very, very changed. So a spiritual father, a spiritual father, you have to connect with them. Hallelujah. I want us to read in the book of... Uh, 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 Second Kings, Second Kings, the book of Kings, Second Kings from verses number two, the book of Kings, 
we are all well versed with this with this with this chapter. Yes. Uh, let's read from verses number one. Some few verses downwards. Book of Second Kings, chapter two. And it came to pass when the Lord would seek up Elijah into heaven by a way with that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal and Elijah said unto Elisha tell me here I pray thee for the Lord has sent me to Bethel and Elijah said unto him as the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth I will not leave thee so they went down to Bethel number three and the sons of the prophets that were at Bethia were fall to Elijah and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from, from thy head today? And he said, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. You can go on that way out of verses, verses number, 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 number 10. You see the journey. The journey is big from, from Gilgal all the way to, to Jordan, the crossing of the Jordan. And these are stages you walk with your, with your spiritual father. You see, from Gilgal, Bethuel, Jericho, and Jordan. Gilgal, Bethuel, Jericho, and Jordan. Every, every stage has got a meaning. Because like the Bethel is the house, the house of bread, the house of bread. That's where you eat from. Now, just listen this carefully. A spiritual father, your pastor is a spiritual father, and many people have have got it wrong that he releases a covering. I, I I don't I don't move without without teaching. A covering. If you are covered, then you do what you want. That's not it. A spiritual father gives guidance, gives instructions, gives direction. And that's the role of a father. He shows you what to do. And he tells you not, what not to do. He, he rebukes you when, when it is necessary. He rebukes with love. And he teaches you, he guides you. This is his job. And... As far as we are concerned as, as Christians, you see, there was this school of the prophets. It had 50 students. Elijah had 50 students in his school. <clears throat> and none of them, none of them, of the 50, followed Elijah as Eli El El Elisha followed, followed him. This man, Elisha, was a farmer. He had 12, 12 oxen, and they were, they were tied with the prowls. You see, oxen, oxen were tied with the prowls. If it is today, he would have been a very wealthy man who has 12, 12, 12, 12 tractors, and they, they, they are carrying, they are pulling a plow. That's a rich man. But when he heard the word of God, he saw something special in the life of Elijah. And that is why he went and destroyed, he, 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 he splattered all the boots. All the bulls and, uh, and, and, and burned them and gave his family the meat and he said, I am now going to follow the servant of the Lord. For me, there is a lot of problems that arise as you follow the, the servant of God, the prophet, your spiritual father. Because there's some training you have to go through. You see this Elijah was telling him, Elisha, I am going away, I am going to be taken. So leave me alone, just stay in Gilgal. He tells him, as long as you live it, and as long as my God live it, I will not leave you. I will not leave you. How many times problems has arisen in a church? And the congregation, the congregants, go away and they leave the, 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 the pastor. They move away and they leave the pastor. May God help us, brethren. Let us just see beyond that joy of salvation. Let us see the meaningful, the meaningful aspects of ministering. 
you are also ministers. Once you are born again, you are called into the lands of a king and a priest unto Jesus. Revelation chapter 1, verse number 6. That is your land. You are not ordinary. You are at a higher level. So, what I'm trying to say this afternoon is this. Beyond coming to the church and going away, there is a grace the spiritual father has. Hallelujah. Yes, your other father can give you land, can he give you property, can he give you all you want in the material world, but he cannot give you this aspect of the grace to connect with our spiritual father, with our, with our, with our heavenly father. This grace is carried by your, by your pastor. This grace is carried by, by, by your spiritual father. You see, I, I, I don't know how it can look like. You walk on the street and a child comes running at you and calls you, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. You look at that child and say, uh-uh, there's something wrong with that, that kid. That is the same way God in heaven looks at us when we call our Heavenly Father. He says, uh -huh. since when did you start become, do you become my son? Because of your character, your attitude, and the way you prefer, you know, the way you, you, you carry yourself in the things of God. Then, in a church like this, some people, it would, be, it would be very costly to call their pastor daddy. Hello? Because there's no connectivity. There's no connectivity. But once there is connectivity, you'll have, you'll have the audacity to call your pastor daddy. And that, 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 that grace that he carries, that, that anointing that he carries, the blessings, the, 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 the blessings upon his life, the grace upon his life, you are going to receive it. Hallelujah. Just like you receive material wealth from our dear, our dear Father. Hello. Praise God. Amen. This is very, very important, my brother and my, my sister. There is a reason why the 50 prophets, sons of the prophet, will not take Elijah seriously. There is something we call content. They were used to Elijah. They were used to Elijah. They were used to him. Hallelujah. And that's why certain, certain boys saw this man of God. He was bold. And these boys started saying, bold man, bold man, bold man. And they were, they were teasing him. And this man of God just opened his mouth and he spoke. The one he spoke began. It made, it brought some bears. They grew out of his mouth as he spoke. And all these boys were devoured by two bears. I'm saying this. A spiritual father in your life is very, very important. Elisha followed Elijah. And when they came to Jordan, remember at every stage, Elijah is telling him, stay here, leave me alone. I'm going, I've been called by my, my God. I'm going to leave. He says, no, as long as you leave, my pastor, not leaving you, as long as you're God. There's a God of your, your pastor. And that's why Paul is saying, Apostle Paul, and my God shall supply to your need. And my God. So there is a God of Apostle Paul. There is a God of your pastor. You are saying. And where is my God? These are the foolish questions we are asking. And it is good. Because we are coming out of drinking milk. We have to chew bones and understand the spiritual aspects of life. We have to understand the truth of the word of God. If you cannot be blessed by your pastor. If you cannot be blessed by your pastor. He cannot even heal you. He cannot deliver you. Because inside of you, there is a boundary, there is a barrier that you have put. And this, this disconnects you from him. And when it disconnects you from him, it disconnects you from the blessings that you receive from him. May God help us. Hallelujah. When they went to Jordan, Elijah took his gower and found the, the gower and his sword the water, the river, the water, the river Jordan. He called his father. 
the heavenly father and the river opened hither and thither tell your neighbor hither and thither that is how a door opens so there was a door in Jordan and only a spiritual father can open that door for you there are so many Jordans have been flooded in your life it's only a spiritual father who has got the capacity to open it for you and once you see him opening because you have been patient to follow him you will be able to do it once he needs you that is the grace I'm talking about let's clap for Jesus <laughs> this is the grace I'm talking about we must be serious with things hallelujah I'll be teaching you concerning doors. Jordan was a door. Doors opened hither and thither. They opened. And there was dry land. They went through. They did not swim. They walked to the other side. And this man of God, Elijah, as they closed over the Jordan, of course, the sons of the prophets are falling from afar. They are seeing everything, but they are not particulars. And this is what I, I would not want to be. You follow your spiritual father, you don't get the grace in him, you are just following a church, and then you see people being blessed, and you are not being blessed. You see people being healed, you are not healed. You see people being I mean, delivered, you are not delivered. The sound of the prophets were on the other side of the river Jordan. Elijah and Elisha closed the Jordan. They were on the other side. And as they were talking, Elijah is asking this, this young prophet, Elijah, ask him what you want from me. And he told him, I want a double portion. Remember he had asked him there at the, 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 the very beginning, if you see me go, you receive it. He has waited until he has seen him go. The chariots of fire came, and the, 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 Elijah, Elijah shouting, my father, my father, the chariots of fire. He was taken in a wheelway. But as he was taken, he dropped it. The mantle. Who took it? Guess who? Elijah. That's how you receive a mantle for continuity in your life. You get the grace that is in your father. There is multiplicity of, of spiritual blessings. But if you cannot follow, and the following means consistency. Consistency. Not coming to this Sunday, then you skip two Sundays, two months, and then you are available. You say, What are you doing? Haven't you put the windows? Haven't you, haven't you bought the product? These are questions that are foolish to ask because you have not been consistent. May God help us. Hallelujah. Oh, Shalabayan Tarabasika. Let me put this aspect. You must be greater than your father. Hallelujah. I know you are wearing your mask, but it's good you can smile inside your mask. You have to be greater than your, your dad. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse number 7. Hebrews 7, verse number 7. And without contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. And without any contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. So, when your pastor blesses you, when his grace comes upon you, you will you, be you will be higher than where you are your mentor was. You see, this 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 man, Elijah, did miracles. But when Elijah came, even when he was dead, he was able the bones of Elijah was able to resurrect human beings that were dead. This is the power, the double portion of the anointing. You carry a, a much greater grace than your, your spiritual father. Hallelujah. And this is good because once you pay the cost, just like Elijah paid the cost, you receive the double portion of anointing. The 50 prophets did not receive uh, 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 the, 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 the anointing, the double portion, because they never paid the cost. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to come to the final, the final praise where we want to release the blessings, and uh, we are going to receive blessings to those who don't have a father, as I explained earlier on. And uh, let me put it this way: 
If your father is not there, and you have an uncle who is good, who is born again, he can be a blessing to you. A good uncle. This is an African setup. But, I want to put it this way. The Bible has given us a living so that even if your other father curses you, the spiritual father can divide the curse and bless you. Thank you. That's the revelation. Let's go together in the book of uh, 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 Genesis chapter 49 verses 1 to 4. Genesis 49 verses 1 to 4. Hallelujah. And Jacob called unto his son and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which, which are before you in the last days. Gather yourselves together and hear, you sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Not exact, because you went up to your father's bed and then defiled it, you ate. He went up to my coach. Let me repeat that. Verses number four. Unstable as water, you shall not exert, because you went up to your father's bed, then defiled it, you defiled it, he went up to my coach. That is what Jacob is saying. In other words, verse number three, he has released the blessings that Reuben ought to receive. But when you go to, to, to verse number four, he releases a curse. This is a father, an angry father. He breathes, he, he, he cuts his firstborn, Reuben. But when we come to the book of uh, uh, Deuteronomy, when you go to Deuteronomy chapter 3, we see Moses as a spiritual father reversing that curse. That is why I say we have an entry point to bless those who have been cursed and even the fatherless. Hallelujah. We go to the book of uh, 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 Deuteronomy chapter 3, read verse number 1. We jump, we go to verses number 4. And this is the beginning where we, Moses, the man of God, bless the children of Israel before his death. Hello? Moses was a spiritual father. But he took time to bless his blessing to the, his congregation, the children of Israel, before his death. And listen, this is what he said. Verses number 4. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of Jacob. Verse number six. Let Reuben live. What had the father said? Reuben would die because a curse releases death. Let Reuben live and not die, and let not his men be few. So, the, the curse that was to diminish, to destroy the seed in Reuben, the children's children, now here comes the man of God, Moses, and he's reversing it. He is saying, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I now decree and declare unto you, Reuben, you will live, you will not die, and your seed will be many, you will be a generation. You will multiply. He reverses, Moses reverses that which the blood father, the other father, had released as a curse. Brethren, we need to understand, and these are the levels of knowledge, these are the levels of grace I'm talking about. There is, there is something you receive from a spiritual father. And uh, <clears throat> this is what happened in the case of Reuben. The, the, the curses that were raised by the father were, were reversed. And the spiritual father, Moses, reversed the curses. Hallelujah. This is very, very important. 
And that is why I'm saying today, let's bless ourselves now. Because I want to raise a blessing to those children, sons and daughters that do not have fathers because of this thing or the other. I'll be repeating that. Kindly follow now where we are now because this is going to be a very important part of us. And the brethren who are here, let us all stand so that we may receive these blessings because it's God who commanded them and we are to do it. Hallelujah. He commanded all the spiritual, all the spiritual fathers to put the name of the Lord upon the brethren. And this afternoon, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to put the name of the Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the living God, Elohim, Jehovah, upon you. May he bless you. Today, listen to this. May the Lord bless you, bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you peace. Today, I decree and declare that you shall walk a divine open heaven, divine favor, divine provision shall be your portion. You shall be strong, you shall be robust and blossom like the sand of Lebanon. You shall multiply and be fruitful like the tree planted by the side of the river. Amen. Every day as you wake up, you, 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 you walk with Abrahamic blessings. You will wax green like the stars in heaven, like the sun in the sea. There is no curse at you. There is no witchcraft at you and your posterity. As you leave your home and back in the evening, the work of your hands are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are favored. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are favored. Amen. You, are, you will walk with Luke 2 from 2 and 26. You will have divine favor before God. You will have divine favor before men. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And to those that do not have a, a father, a father, I mean another father. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is a spiritual father in your vicinity. I want you to go and sell yourself so that you can receive the grace upon the, 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 the spiritual father. In the name of Jesus Christ, this afternoon, I want to bless you that has not had a father. You have never known a father. Tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, may you receive the father love. May the almighty God overshadow thee with his love. May you receive the doors of heaven open before thee. You shall be great. They say you will not be great. But I declare this afternoon you shall be great. The doors of opportunities shall open before thee. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you will go, you will excel. You will excel. You will have the strength of a unicorn. In the name of Jesus Christ. The, 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 the thing that removed your father from, from living, it shall not remove you in the name of Jesus Christ. The pity falls that your parent fell, you will not stumble. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are favored, you are blessed, you are blessed. May the grace of the Almighty God overshadow thee every day, every night, in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, our Father and our God, for you have done it unto them, and you continue doing it even from today and forevermore. We thank you, God. We give you glory because we have received and partaken the blessing of our Father. For if we is believing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and believe and say, Amen. Amen.